I'll tell you what. I want to watch. It's a bit of a long one, so I want to. I want to check this out, and then we'll get right into some gameplay. We'll play some Sally Face. I think Sally Face is like five chapters, so I'm pretty sure we could like knock out one chapter and then go to Thimbleweed Park. November 22nd of 2021, two policemen were called to like search a house days. after the property owner suspected that someone had broken in. Now the house itself is an Airbnb that the owner occasionally rents out but the owner was sure that no guests slash renters were staying that night. She had dropped by to the house when she saw the front door open. Upon seeing this, she called police to search the oh, house for any intruders. The, the police arrive and begin to search. But while searching the property, something very strange happens. Uh, chapter one is quite short depending on the speed. Well, I'm an idiot, so more than likely it's gonna take me the entire stream. I'm the <laughs> events that occurred during the search have left both officers extremely unsettled. I'm, I, I'm not good. I'm All not events were captured so, uh, on a body cam worn by policemen. <laughs> this is what was caught. But they're out of town right now, they're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and 30 one downstairs. Minutes, uh, 30 minutes to 60. All right, okay, uh, we're okay. going to have to go and search the house More than and make it going. Might be able to knock out, like, yeah, two yeah, of course. You don't have any, like, pets or dogs or anything? No, no. Uh, just stay here, man. Well, I, I think I've already seen this one, but I, I absolutely want to see this again. This one's actually genuinely awesome. Well, I Hello? absolutely crushed the car with my weight. If anyone's here, make yourself known. Well, he says. Uh, monster truck wheels, bro. What can I say? Monster. I told you, Squidbillies. They had a monster truck. <laughs> Police. FBI, open up. I know you're in there. Show me the head tie. That better not be a lolly. This is creepy, actually. There's actually knocking in the bathroom door. It's freaking. That was the ghost. The ghost was talking on the radio. It's like, yo, get out. This is my Airbnb now. I already paid. <laughs> like, that's a full on knock on the door, bro. Anyone inside? And it's actual police footage? Like, I'm losing my mind. Pop a cap in the ghost. Do it. I'm gonna check downstairs. You get upstairs. Ghost, by the power invested in me, by Jesus Christ, you are under arrest. Police, anyone inside? Make yourself known. Dude, I love the fact that this is like actual police body footage. But it just gives it this whole freaking like grounding, I guess. It grounds the freaking video. Oh, this is awesome. Bro, talk to it. Talk to the ghost. Give it its Miranda rights. You have the right to an attorney. If there is no attorney that has recently passed away, then you should contact the court will, will appoint you a, a ghost jury, a ghost judge. If you know, a ghost uh, attorney. There we go. That was the word. Like, I love, I love how the, I love how the ghost is like just going from room to room, like freaking leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> well, I am too big to ride a car, and I am um, got too. No, dude, trust me, monster truck. I'll show you. I'll show you the squid bullets. Like. Like, check it out. Like, 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 hold on. Squid. Drunk. Like, you gotta get one of these, bro. Like, that one. Like, you can even carry, like, like, Down this dude's monster there. truck was so freaking awesome. It, it, he had a monster truck that pulled a bow. Wait, that pulled another monster truck. I get, I got a freaking... Show the, show the, oh, Pinterest! Oh, I freaking hate Pinterest. Get out of here. The point is, he has a monster truck that pulls a boat that pulls another monster truck. Bro, trust me, you, you can do it. I believe in you, Foxy. The 
subtitles. Pour it. <laughs> Clear. I made this point yeah. last time. If you are yeah, a police good. officer, you better freaking you better freaking stay. Now something that's odd about this that video ghost. is that all the closets appear to be empty. Where are my tax dollars going? If you can't even take the, take on a freaking ghost. Although somewhat strange, the video's description I states that the homeowner occasionally rents out the I specifically paid my taxes with the understanding that you're gonna you're gonna defend me from ghosts. House through Airbnb. So, as to prevent guests slash renters from stealing personal items such as clothes, leaving the closets empty is necessary. Now another thing that viewers point out is that the cops don't bother turning on the lights. This is actually normal though, as taking the time to find the light can spell life or death for the officer. All officers must be ready to confront any danger during a search, meaning that all their attention is solely given to the threat at hand. However, the doors opening- Dude. In, in, uh, and this might be a little too personal, but in Compton here, uh, in California, one time the, these dudes like broke into my house. So, so we called the police, right? <laughs> dude, they had an entire, like, it was an entire SWAT team, my dudes. I might, I, I'm actually like pretty, per, like, I know a lot of the police officers and a lot of the sheriffs and, and stuff. Here, because of the work I used to do, and 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 I still do technically with uh, 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 foster kids and stuff like that. Uh, but it 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 like so I know a lot of police officers, a lot of sheriffs and stuff. Uh, uh, but dude, just the, the how methodical they are when they go into a building. Like I never got the I've never had the chance to firsthand see how a SWAT team completely takes. Oh, it looked like a scene out of Siege, my dude, Rainbow Six Siege. But better. It was actually more professional and more because, like, they don't do siege where they're like, well, I, got, I got six operators. No, no, no. There was, like, ten people going in the front door back to back, like, shoulder to shoulder, hand on hand, and, like, ready. Like, dude, like, good luck to anyone. Meanwhile, they also had another line of police officers going around the back. ...by themselves when the officer searches upstairs, and the sudden footsteps heard right behind him are things... ...and totally has nothing to do with the fact that we live in the ghetto. ...things that viewers can <laughs> seem to explain. Whatever it might have been, the homeowner can rest assured that nobody's inside. But depending if she's a believer in the paranormal, all, all of my neighbors and, and just other people who happen to walk by didn't even care, didn't even flinch, didn't even look at the freaking situation. Like literally, this, these two pair of girls uh, who were quite gorgeous actually, but they just they just they, they just walked in between the police officers who had their firearms pointed at my house. <laughs> just sort of walk right in front of them and pass them like look this is the only way to, for me to get home and I'm, I'm not taking another street i'm too lazy to do that living no, with like, a ghost respect. or something Bad else entirely may be equally disturbing this video you think an active shooting is gonna get in my way i'm too lazy i don't care if you're having an active shooting. Yo, like most others remains a mystery i am like a giant obese fox well then bro freaking roll what do you mean you think like one time, one time when I, when I, I when I ate like an entire bucket of ice cream by myself, and then an entire bucket of popcorn by myself, I was like too, I was like so exploded, like I was just, I was just like a freaking giant ball, and I and and I would roll to the bathroom because it's like it's so much easier. Just roll everywhere, bro. Trust me, you don't need a car. Besides, what do you need a car for? Outside? Yeah. yeah. This next video comes from like, Sean McAuliffe. Who like, what's the point of a car? Who claims to have captured something pretty freaky on camera. Sean says that he's been living in his. Or do what Ginormica did, where she like used two cars, like rollerblades. One car, like because even if you crush them, the wheels are still there. So it's like one, what, like right foot on one car, left foot on another car, and like just freaking like rollerblade, like. Sh -sh -sh -sh. House you for twenty three I mean? years now, Play and ever since music? moving oh. in at the age of fourteen, he's short? been seeing things that he can't explain. Initially thinking that it was just in his head, he didn't worry too much about it. But it wasn't until seeing more and more of these strange happenings that he started to think that maybe the stuff he's seen is actually real. While each of these incidents had to be spooky, this one oh, has dude. got to be the freak okay. happenings no that he started joke. to think that, that maybe right the stuff genuinely... he's seen is actually real. While each of these incidents this is this is literally I'm not even joking. Uh, except in like this is literally sleep paralysis. This is a sleep paralysis demon. Now in my sleep paralysis, uh, uh, like. Like whenever I had sleep paralysis and I and I basically was just being accosted by a freaking shadow creature, it it, it it would look exactly the same. But at the my sleep paralysis demon always had like a mess of hair, like an absolute like just just jumble of of, of putrid hair. 
incidents had to be spooky. About what you this one has got to be the freakiest. It's late at night and Sean is away from it. home when suddenly the camera in his bedroom begins to move around as it seems to be sensing movement from somewhere. A few seconds pass and this is captured. Show it to me. I want to see it. Where the demon? Okay. Bro, who has these freaking auto movement cameras? Ooh, creepy. I want one of these. I want a freaking auto move camera that moves with detection. I never get ghosts in my house. I hate this. I hate this house. This is a bad house. This house used to be a drug den before I purchased it. Like, you're telling me there's not a single addict ghost in here? What's the point? Why did I purchase this house? <laughs> There's gotta be something, dude. I want demons in my house. Well, I don't want demons in my house. I want ghosts, but I want spookies. Like, like at least a little bit. Like, that's a friend. Look at him. He's checking in to see how I'm doing. Hey, my dude, you want some sandwiches? I'm making some peanut butter sandwiches in the kitchen. Okay, but I just realized I am very tall. There you go, my dude. Ginormica. Friggin' rollerblade those things. <laughs> a giant obese fox. There As you go. As the camera What's points up? straight ahead, a dark figure. You got this. Either roll, which is the best solution in my opinion. Roll, rolling, roll. Like, like I'm pretty sure eventually everyone's going to become Wally, like the Wally dudes. And we're just, everyone's just going to roll around everywhere. Like, we don't even need hover chairs. Like, hover chairs are so pointless. Just roll. Eventually, humanity is going to become nothing but perfect spherical creatures. Watch. I'm it can be seen it. peaking at the right camera now. before I'm slowly saying, showing more of itself. Over. When the AI takes over and humanity needs to figure out what to do, we're just going to become little balls of like spheres. But right of just just muscle and fat. <laughs> before it's able to show some more, the camera points away. I'm calling it. When it points back, right here, the figure right now, is no longer seen. First. It's as though the shadowy figure was in. Ah, oh, dude, this is actually trippy. This is literally my freaking like this. Okay, like literally, I would have freaking uh uh. What did I tell you about my memory problems, dude? I I, ju I just said the word. Sleep paralysis. There we go. I I would have sleep paralysis, freaking nightmares. Uh, I I don't even know if they're nightmares because I'm I'm technically awake. Uh, so I would have like sleep paralysis nightmares where like the, it would it would literally slowly come up like the previous image. And then just slowly get into this position, like just just crawling above me, uh, which which at a young age was horrifying. Later on, mainly because the the, the hair was like very very squiggly and long, I thought it was like a female demon, and I kind of was into it. But now I'm like super scared of him. Intrigued by the camera, but <laughs> I, have, I have very weird tastes. <laughs> I'll put this down a little bit. It seems like the audio is a little loud. I was scared away when it suddenly moved on its own, similar to the figure. Sean is fascinated by whatever this is, but at the I'm same time, saying, terrified like, by it. Medusa? Overall, though, he's like, just pretty, glad pretty that he cute. caught footage of this I'm mysterious figure, like, <laughs> as he now has proof that something is inside his house. Uh, he's not a giant, he's just tall. Well, well, well you, at first you're telling me I am like a giant. Oh, you said like a giant. Okay, never mind, I misread. Okay, no, you're right, you're correct, 100%. You're just tall. That's fine, Ginormica was, was, wasn't, wasn't like giant either but she was very tall technically <laughs> but as always you be the judge she, she was like one step underneath like the whole fee fi fo fum like giants like from jack is of the this actual stuff. proof of something paranormal or was something else captured on december 2nd of 2022 a family okay, in I've India began uploading too. a series of videos documenting strange happenings inside I their home. Seen the, I didn't see the previous Up one. until recently, the family hadn't posted these videos out of fear of being shamed by friends and family, as they don't believe in the paranormal. I don't, I don't know if uh, how long ago this one was made, three months ago, but actually they recently put up an update. This family, he, he actually like put up a, a, a series of videos. He put one final video that he captured, which was like actually legit, like pretty freaking like sketchy. But he then, then he announced he was no longer gonna do the channel. Like 
because he's moving. He, he he no longer wanted to live there. Uh, he said it, he just felt like his family was in danger from the whole events that were happening. And so he just moved. He moved out, and he, he's, he said he's no longer going to put up videos because the... He didn't intend for it to go viral. He just wanted to document this. But which is like, experience, oh, bro, if you're faking this, like that just made it more legit in my mind. Like it's an a freaking trip. So disturbing. They deemed it necessary to share their footage. They reasoned that not sharing their videos would prevent them from getting the help they need. The following video is the first of many, all of which progressively get stranger and stranger. In this first incident, the family's at home when their son notices something very peculiar outside their window. Watch. Bro, again, where are you getting these McDonald's like bouncy balls? I want one. <laughs> Got a McDonald's bouncy ball. Kid gets terrified. I think the kid gets messed with a couple times, actually. There's something in there. Yeah, there we go. I don't see something. To be fair, the kids, the kids do this to me like every other day too. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's about my reaction to it. Well, I don't know. What is it, Mama? Which, which is like, which is like, dude, be, being a freaking older brother, like sometimes. You, it's like it's like uh, bro i don't like 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 the, uh, my the, my younger siblings will come up to me like bro there's a giant spider in my room and i'm like well i'm not gonna do i freaking hate spiders more than you it's like but dude you're the older bro uh, freaking uh, all right fine and then i have to like pretend to be brave and like take out the spider right. you know and and but then but then i'm like i don't want to kill it either so i have to like <laughs> i have to like be brave and like get the paper and the cup and like pick up the freaking spider and take it out the window and like chuck it you know and then hope it doesn't die from fall damage well, I have to stomp underneath the doorway. <laughs> so how? Wait, what? So now you're so you're giant, but well, I mean, I guess a fox is a pretty tiny creature. So a, a giant fox wouldn't necessarily be like a freaking uh, a humongous bean, wouldn't it be? Stomp under. That's your first problem, dude. Stop stomping. I told you, roll, roll, rolling ball. Trust me. Stop stomping everywhere. It, it'll solve all your problems. You After taking a, a second look at the so-called imaginary friend, whose name is Jerry. Their son runs over to the couch in a panic Jerry frenzy, the as though he'd seen something pretty <laughs> horrific. After rushing over Freaking to safety, Jerry. he points out Jerry to his father, who seems concerned at first, but then later chalks it up to his child's imagination after being unable to see him. Although somewhat strange, the parents don't think much of this and continue with their usual activities. But in the fall, Bro, these these people were brave, very brave. Not because of the ghost situation, but the fact that they're willing to put their stickers on stuff. Look at this. I have like a thousand stickers and I refuse to put them anywhere. Wing days. Because once I put it, I'm never getting it back, dude. It's like, it's like getting a tattoo. It's like, but, but, but once I put it there, it's, it's there. And I can never undo it. Like, <laughs> only gets stranger. In one incident, I have commitment the family's having dinner with my stickers. when all of a sudden, a loud knocking sound comes out of nowhere, followed by the smoke detector going off randomly. Bro, what a cool shirt, though. Y'all see that oops shirt? It was I from love there it. on that more disturbances That's would dope. occur. But it's the following incident that's by far the strangest. The family plays an audio recording of a prayer through a speaker in the hopes that doing so would cleanse their home of the entity that haunts them. As they play the recording, this happens. Yeah, my head's out. What? What? My head's what happened? They got maggots? Sorry for the confusion. I just tall and very fat. Oh, dude, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, so do like the 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 the, the, the like the like circular wheel motion. I got you. Don't worry. I will figure this out, dude. We'll 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 we'll, we'll solve this problem. Don't you worry about it. Maggots, maggots, not bugs. You remember as a kid, anyone ever roll down like a hill? Like, there you go, bros. If, just make sure your house is on a very tall hill and just roll everywhere. Don't ask me how to get back. I'm like, yeah, I, if you can roll up, possibly. But, I, you know, I'm I'm giving you a, solu a, a solution. It's not perfect. I don't know how you're going to get back up the hill. But, you know, at the very least, you can roll down the hill. You get me? I don't see that. That's like half the battle right there.
so they start playing a prayer and just get a maggot infestation out of nowhere. That's a demon, dude. That's absolutely a freaking demon. Thirty-three maggots around the house. That's a demon, dude. That's totally a demon. More maggots. Don't panic the kid, lady. <laughs> Oddly enough, playing the recording has led to the sudden emergence of maggots. But even more strange is that according to the family, they came out of nowhere. To this day, they have yet to come up with an explanation for this odd occurrence. But as if that wasn't baffling enough, two nights later, they- In general, maggots tend to stay the heck away from most places. Like, they really just are looking for dead skin. Uh, so it's like, it is, it, it's not, I'm not saying it's impossible, uh, uh, for these maggots to be here, but it's like pretty weird that they would be here. They capture something beyond, unless they got like a dead raccoon in the ceiling. Strange. In which case, forget the ghost, go deal with the freaking dead raccoon. It's late at night. Oh, now I thought about a dead raccoon. I love raccoons. That's so sad. <laughs> Poor trash pandas. When a loud noise outside the bedroom wakes up the parents, take a look. Oh, nice, you got the child protector. Highly recommend these. Uh, these little child protector things for when your kids are too hyper and they just bang their head into frickin' everything. Super helpful. I don't know what this, like, fad of uh, having, sh like, sharp edges on everything in the universe is. Uh, I'm blocking this, so I'll read it. I had to, to be quiet so my son wouldn't wake up. I was blocking the subtitle there, so I didn't want to... But I have to squeeze for the door. Bro, what do you mean the door? Door? Bro, garage. A garage door. The ones that like go up, like like the freaking market, like the like the store doors. I got you, bro. Solutions here. That's what we're here for, bro. You don't need a door no more. Get the one of those automatic gates that lift up in the garage. What happened there? I missed it. Hold on. Like, you see what I mean? Like, this guy has to be- now has to go deal with the demon. Whereas, warning, whereas the small if you're single, you just sort of let the demon be out there, like, eh, as long as it's not messing with me in the room. A chair that's initially seen <laughs> against the wall mysteriously slides over to the couch in a swift motion oh, as though someone or something had pushed it. What's worse there is that if, if, the, if the demon pushed it from here, he has to cross that now. Like, knowing full well that there's a freaking demon the there. The father <laughs> understandably runs back into the room. Fear he doesn't have a garage. Well, I mean, just you don't gotta, like, just install it on your house, bro. Knock down that freaking doorway. Install one of those little, little things. Fearing for his safety, viewers believe that whatever had slit the chair had done so with the intent of causing... Just don't have a door. Or better yet, freaking bust open the windows, dude. ...causing harm. Although we don't know if the family agrees with this. Besides, you're a fox. What do you want to be in a house for? Houses are uh, yucky. Notion. People live in those things, man. They most certainly agree that this next incident, which occurred a few nights later, is the creepiest of all. This is what they caught. Trumpet sounds. Almost the same time. Wait, what time was it? Was it the witching what they hour? Caught. It's like one in the morning, I think. Almost two. I am a pirate fox. Ooh. So you'd be on like on a, on a, on a, on a boat? Like on a sail ship? Get a giant cruise liner. Or one of those like boats that pulls other boats. That should be able to handle the weight, dude. No worries. Because, I mean, if a small tugboat could carry a ginormous freaking carrier, 
I, I'm pretty sure a tugboat could, could lift a, a, a billion, trillion, kajillion pound fox. Buoyancy, my dude. Laws of physics at work? Or is it like the other kinds of pirates, like the modern day pirates, like the Nigerian pirates? Which I mean, it's still basically the same thing. It's still pirates. I mean, friggin' people act like Jack Sparrow is is, is some kind of friggin' different. Like it's 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 he's still just a, a a thief of the sea. Like that's it's a plunderer. Like <laughs> really no difference except that the modern day ones have you know force multipliers now instead of friggin' swords. <laughs> the sound of running footsteps are heard running towards the father. As anyone would, the father bolts back into the room in full terror. Oh, okay, Just so like here the are the footsteps incidents, running at him. This one has left the family completely spooked. They have no clue as to what is haunting them, and neither do most viewers. However, it's it wasn't demon. until recently... I, I know exactly what's haunting you. It's a demon. That a follow -up it's a little demon baby. little demon child. A video was made by the father commenting on the incidents that have taken place. In this video... You know how I can tell? Because kids love to fill their pockets full of bugs and insects. They always put worms and dirt in their pockets and then come home. And then, like, you could see some of the maggots were in the kids' toys. So, obviously, it's a freaking demon child. Like I'm The father saying. mentions a certain detail like, that, why according we acting to viewers... Here? Why are we acting like we don't know what's happening here? It's obviously a demon. To explain why strange things are happening to the family, take a look. Okay, uh, so this is, like, around... Five Dude, my couch ago, looks exactly like this. My couch is exactly like this. I just fill it full of stuff. Way, yeah. Never sit down on it. <clears throat> I don't want to mention uh, nationality, but uh, she had a very strange behavior. And uh, initially, we didn't notice it much, but uh, later on, yeah, it was kind of creepy. She used to prepare food for us, and um, like you can say, like she used to make uh, breakfast and dinner for her, and. I don't know why, but uh, she never used to eat her own cooked food, you know. We used to eat the food, and my son, and um, we have never seen her eating the food in front of her. And whenever we used to ask her, have that, has she eaten her dinner or something, like she used to say, yeah, yeah, I've already eaten it. But uh, we used to check the camera. That I'm the same way, though. Whenever I cook food for the, the children, especially if I'm doing, like, clam chowder or... If I'm doing chicken alfredo, or if, especially if I'm doing carne asada or tacos, like, bro, like, the entire time I'm cooking, I'm tasting, 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 eating, checking, making sure things are, like, good, making sure the salsa's all right, making sure... So it's like, you get full by the time you're done cooking, bro. Like, <laughs> is eating or not? Uh, no, we have never seen her eating food at home. And this is where the maid used to sleep. And, um... He said he didn't want to mention her nationality. She's a Mexican, isn't she? Just admit it. Just admit it. <laughs> you know, uh, through the nanny cam, what we used to see her uh, every night, like 1 to 4 a.m., she used to like just sit down in the middle over here and just staring at our bedroom door, which was, uh, how can someone have like uh, some kind of insomnia behavior? Just I have insomnia. I ain't even gonna lie. still and watching at our Normal's back. How's it going, my dude? We were scared of her. Uh, we, we started to be... Uh, we decided to okay just lay her off and after she went bro what have you not seen paranormal activity the 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 the, the, the mexican maid like she's always correct she was probably trying to defend you from the demon and you kicked her out now you got no demon protection and, that's uh, on you okay, that's on you almost for a month there was no no viewers believe that yeah, it's spooky, but you know what she's doing? She's doing a classic Mexican move, which is where you just stare anything down and you just give it the, the mal de ojo. Mm -hmm. The evil eye. <laughs> that the maid, which the family had laid it down. off. Is... It's like, it's like inglorious, uh, uh, hold on, what, can I say this on YouTube? Inglorious bastardos. <laughs> YouTube's algorithm can't get that, I'm pretty sure. I doubt it. <laughs> in Inglorious, like where they, uh, uh, or wait, no, is it even that one? No, it's men who stare at sheep. Wait, is that the same? Oh goodness, now I'm freaking. Oh, I'm such a poser when it comes to war movies. I watch a lot of war movies, but I, 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 I freaking forget a lot of stuff. Uh, but it's, it's, it's the one where they stare at sheep. I, I'm pretty sure the movie's called Men Who Stare at Sheep. 
But it's like an actual thing that they used to do just, just to practice it, to, like just for fun, I guess they were freaking bored. responsible for the strange occurrences. But it's a classic Mexican They believe Mariojo. that in retaliation for being- She was staring down the demon like, do something. Do something to my employers. Watch, I'll get the holy water, I'll get the crucifix- Oh! Being fired. I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I want you to hit me. I want you to do it. <laughs> she had placed a curse on the home, which is evident by the dangerous activity encountered by the family. I'll grab the, the huevo, the egg, and I'll rub it all over them to get, to, to put all the curse on the egg. And then you freaking crack the egg in the water and watch how it has like bubbles and stuff. Because that's, de that's demon juice. Whether or not that's that true, demon juice there's no eggs. denying that the activity continues to intensify with each new video captured. That said, this next video is no exception to this notion. The family is once again woken up late at night when this is captured. Ajay, don't go. I'm going to take your hand. Please. No, I'm not going to go. Don't go out there, man. The demon's already, like, in the... This is a, this, it, respect to this guy. Nothing's gonna happen. What is that? Is that knocking on the door? What is the sound? Or is it like trying to open the door? Like a cat. Like a demon cat. Foxy like me. Oh, thank you, Foxy. Oh, I get it. The demon's trying to do a knock-knock joke. Who's there? I said, who's there? All right, well, now, 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 now you're just, now you're just repeating yourself. This is a terrible joke. Okay, fine. Not, who's there? I'll answer again. Impatient much? <laughs> Brought to give me back my phone? What? I'm still waiting on the knock knock yeah. to finish. Okay, I'm not doing this. Wait, what was that? That wasn't him? The people in horror movies, when they have a chance to literally escape death and fates, ignores and doesn't notice it. Yeah, for real. I'm here. Okay, I'm not doing this. It appears that someone or something had mimicked the father's voice. Although pretty terrifying, it's the latest and final incident that has left the family extremely unsettled. This. I didn't see that one. The other previous, Nuke's Top 5, I don't know, actually, you know what, he might have done it, I might have just freaking missed it. I don't remember Nuke's Top 5 having that clip where, like, the voice freaking comes back. That's, that's a trip! This is what was captured. This is the one where, like, all the faucets get turned on, right? Yeah. Again, about two o'clock. It's five minutes early today. Okay, yeah, the scooter gets moved. Told you, told you, demon's playing with the scooter. It's a demon child. Demon child. See that? If you had a Mexican maid there, she would have stared down that demon child and been like, Hey, turn that tap water off. You know how expensive the water bill is. <laughs> Dude, coicos hurt. <laughs> it's when you, it's when you like smack him on the head with your knuckle, not too hard, but but just the fact that it's your knuckles, like ah, bone on bone. Feels extremely cold here. Seriously, Demon, if you're gonna be freaking turning on the water, at least help pay the bill. Like, rude. Okay, okay. 
Oh, those footsteps, though. See, the demon, the demon just wants to play with the dartboard. That's all it was. Bro, the whole door is full of freaking someone stickers. I or just saw that. Had left the faucet running in both the Mad kitchen and bathroom. Bro. After shutting them off, the sound of running footsteps are heard once again. Naturally, the father was shaken up. The family continues to document these strange occurrences in the hopes that someone can explain what's going on. What are you talking about, Foxy? Roxy, give me my phone back before I you. Unfortunately, a definitive okay. explanation <laughs> is yet to be given. But what are your thoughts on this? Is the maid that was laid off responsible for the activity? No, she was protecting them, bro. Haven't you seen freaking paranormal activity? Could Jerry, the imaginary friend, be the actual culprit? Or totally Jerry. might there be something else that could nah, explain totally all that's Jerry. happened? It's Jerry. As with most videos, this one I refuse has to yet believe to be anything solved. Else. Totally Jerry the demon child. If you caught something creepy on camera, that or if there's ghost? any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Oh, okay, this felt like it that was already the said, end of the video. Let's get right, back cool. to the video. Scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. The following video comes from Deanna Boyce, who's the mother of two children and the wife of her husband. The house that her family Ooh. lived in. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I had to... <laughs> That sounded like it was something straight out of a like a, 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 a one of those movies. <laughs> you gotta I, 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 like I, I, I'll try to explain myself here. Just, the following just... video comes from Deanna Boyce, who's the mother of two children and the wife of her husband. She's the mother of two d children and the wife of her husband. Who who else's wife would she be? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like she's the wife of her husband. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of got that from the fact that she's <laughs> someone's wife. No, she's actually the wife of someone else entirely, not her husband. Uh, it's Tom and Jerry says chaos for real. The house that her family lives in is a place they have. <laughs> oh, and the apartment just knocking stuff around, freaking. Happily <laughs> call home, as plenty of significant events have taken place there. This is this is Mary. She, she is the wife and I am her husband. Like, it's just, that's the, that's the energy I got out of it. It was just funny. In other Sorry. words, <laughs> lots of memories were made at this house. Baby but one memory in specific do, 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 frightens Deanna, as thinking about it makes her feel very uneasy. For months, her well, yeah, oldest daughter demons, has been telling her that someone is inside her closet. Theory, the maid had a past she child's daughter that died mysteriously the and the child inside. became friends with the other child as a ghost. Then when the maid left, the child's ghost couldn't keep track of her and stayed there with the other son. Oh, Which dude. would usually be the name of a family member who had oh, Bro, we're literally making a freaking whole movie right now. Passed away. But recently, she's That's so true, that could be it. Been saying that a bad man is inside. Feeling spooked, Deanna had thought Or maybe like like that what oh like that one paranoid what was it, the last one? The last one that came out. It was the like where the lady was like Trying to sacrifice the other, the other child, right? Because she didn't she didn't have her own child to give to the demon. Not about contacting someone that could who could help it, her dude. cleanse her home, but maybe she pulled a fast one on the demon, like an IOU, like like like. Hey, look, I know I told you I could get you a demon baby, or I mean, sorry, demon, I told you I would give you my firstborn, but I'm like super fugly, so I couldn't like like get some, and so like. I'm just gonna give you this other person's child because I I I'm, I don't got the moves I don't got the riz like that I gotta I gotta I gotta I can't. It was after seeing the following video that she immediately knew that a proper cleanse was needed as soon as game. possible. Her daughter is asleep when this is captured. Blink, one eighty two. You think it's a you think the you think it's a fan of Blink one eighty two? Mysterious door opening. What's with the alien set, like spaceship sounds you got in the background going? Oh, that's the closet. Yeah, it's a pedo ghost. Get it out. What kind of ghost hides in the closet? Like, wouldn't it be uncomfortable? Like, why wouldn't you pick a bigger room? The closet door mysteriously opens on its own. It opens slowly and quietly, seemingly trying not to wake Deanna's daughter. Deanna states that no one could have been <laughs> inside, as there isn't enough- 
The ghost is like, shush, don't, don't, don't open the door too fast. You want to wake up the baby. It's actually a really nice ghost. Enough room for anyone to be there. Like most viewers, she thinks that something is in contact with her daughter. Unfortunately, this incident continues to haunt Deanna, reminding her that something dwells in her house and that whatever this might be is possibly attached to her child. I mean, I'll just play, uh, uh, pun intended, I'll play devil's advocate here. You have the fan going, and if the door is even slightly open, a, 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 a really power, like a really just good flow of air will absolutely, like, push that open and create a current. Uh, but I'm not saying that's what the case here. I really want to believe it's a ghost. I really do. But at the same time, I'm just saying it's totally a possibility. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you are a uh, one kajillion billion trillion pound fox. And I'm a wolf. Roxy, give me back my phone now. <laughs> yeah, for real, Roxy. What are you doing? Give him his freaking phone back. Come on. How is he going to call the firefighters video, to come and pick him up and take him back to his house on the hill? We've talked about this. He can't roll upwards. Named Josh Fletch is exploring a penitentiary that is believed to be haunted. Along with some friends, Josh checks out the cells and other sites inside the building. But when Josh decides to go upstairs by himself to check the cells above, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. Oh, bro, is this Alcatraz? This is totally Alcatraz, isn't it? Take a look. This looks like the this this is this, this is so uh, this is the nerdiest thing. It this feels like like uh, uh blood of the, like oh what was it freaking Call of Duty the 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 one where you're playing as freaking the the mafiosos in, in Alcatraz. What was it? Blood of the Dead? Was it Blood of the Dead? I uh, may or may not have climbed up. Chaos. Which one was that one? Because there's no stairs. We beat that one. We beat the freaking uh. Didn't we beat that one? We did that Easter egg. Let me know if you guys want to see Call of Duty Easter eggs, uh, zombie Easter eggs. Uh, we, we we used to, uh, me, uh, uh, me, Chaos, and who else was it? Was it was it Burn Burrito? No, it was it was J Mun J Mun on Spotify. You check him out. He's cool. Uh, we 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 all did a lot of the freaking uh, Easter eggs. But I, I think. <laughs> oh! Ooh, go back. I want to see it. Oh! Hello! Oh! <laughs> Why are you running away again? Why did you come to the haunted penitentiary? Why did you go to a haunted place if when you, as soon as you see what you want to see, you don't freaking do anything about it? Did you just run away? Upon arriving like, at the last on, cell, the silhouette no, of- No! This is perfect! Keep the camera there! Communicate! Speak! It's a freaking- There's a freaking bar! It's like, even if it's a real person, like a real IRL, like flesh and meat, it's not gonna touch you, and if it is a ghost, then it make it come after you. You kidding me? Person Possess or me. Something Do it. can be seen inside. I'll get possessed. I'll get possessed just to prove that freaking ghosts are real. You kidding me? Josh was immediately shaken to his core when he saw the dark figure standing That's an there. Instant Nobel Prize, Although bro. neither Josh nor his friends have any clue. Flamethrower monkey discovered the spooky. As to what he saw, they can't help but feel that something paranormal had appeared. One theory is that the ghost of an inmate was caught on camera, but who knows? What exactly? It's actually the janitor. It's not one of the inmates. The inmates are totally happy there. The janitor hated his job there. Hated it, dude. Ugh. Did Josh see inside the jail cell? <laughs> we always assume it's a prisoner, but it, they, they might actually have been enjoying their time there. We don't know. Maybe it was the warden. Maybe the Thanks warden for watching, like, I'm and I hope keep, you enjoyed. I'm gonna keep running this place even Until after. next time. That was a good one. I, did, I, I, I saw some of those already, but the, some of them were pretty dope. Like it. Awesome, my dude. Subscribe. Hope I get. Hope you put out some more cool stuff. Uh, we're probably gonna watch more trollage stuff later, dude. That that one was pretty. The, the red brain one was pretty funny.